November 26th. It's about six something. It's sunrise uh, coming up here. I'm going to head to the north here. This is looking north. I'll make an adjustment. Already the Ken planes are coming out. It was clear just a while ago. There's one right there. Oh, there's another one. Another, 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 another one. That's looking where the sun's going to come. This is looking to the south. Today is uh, November 26th. This is looking north towards uh, Canada. It's a nice lenticular cloud coming up over the uh, presidential range there. This guy passed through just a bit ago. He's headed west. And here's one now. It's just ironic that they're coming through and uh, blocking the sun. It was just clear about five minutes ago. They've been layering hard over there. Let's look into the south. If you notice up this way, it's clear. Blue sky. Forty-six years old. I've never seen a jet stream look like that in my life. I probably shouldn't even be out here. This is not good. Just looking north towards Canada. Same shot I've been giving you. You probably can't see in this shot, but there's dozens and dozens and dozens of high level IT brain going on up there. There you can see them. Tell me that's normal. There aren't that many flights headed west out of uh, this would be coming from the east the ocean. There aren't that many flights coming from the ocean much less any airports to handle that kind of aircraft aircraft and now you can see this is dissipating uh, 
thinking what they're doing is they're trying to stop us from seeing uh, the radiation when we have a expecting a major sunrise this morning. Looking to the east, sun's starting to come up. You can see in a matter of minutes how much that's uh, spread out. See another one now in the back. He just flew over about two minutes ago. Again, looking up above me. Why don't they tell us what's going on? We all want to know. Doesn't matter, I guess. Start to see the uh, curly queuing of the chemtrail there. Uh, uh. You can see a jet stream alongside, which is dissipating. And beside it is the uh, Curly Q. Look at all those. That's high altitude. You just caught a glimpse of one. You'll never see it on the camera. He's got to be 50,000 feet. 30, 50. Jets fly at 30. Planes up above are probably here. 50, 60,000 feet. Here's the one in particular. He's headed this way. Hopefully catch a good sun glare off him. Okay, I went in and changed my card out. This has just happened in the last five minutes. All these have uh, been affected somehow. I don't know if you can really see them. this shows up or ribs I don't know what is that harp doesn't happen there's the sun starting to come up there's just lines everywhere in the sky Blocking the radiation, poisoning us, hiding something. NASA says these are clouds. Millions of people are hitting our video saying we're all nuts. Well, I'm 46. I've never seen anything like this in my life, ever. Never saw clouds do that. Another plane just ripped through there. There's one up high. That's looking to the south. 
see now it's uh, clouded over there as well. If I look to the west, clear sky, nothing. Clear as day, amazing. I'm going to check the radar then and compare, see what clouds are coming off the coast. Point north. That's east. To the south. And to the west. Here she comes. Yeah, that just popped over the hill. I can feel the heat like it's gonna cook me, man. I mean, it's hot. the heat coming off there like it's a fire. That's really crazy man. It's like Florida hot. I'm in the White Mountains in New Hampshire. It's like 29 degrees out. You can feel the heat coming off. It's beautiful. I'm soon gonna have to get out, it's getting too bright. I mean, man, is it bright. Here we are looking north. Headed east. That's the biggest that's been. 
It's almost unbearable to look at with my hand in front of it. A few minutes ago, I was out here and uh, looking up in the sky. You could actually see the uh, stuff falling out of the sky when the clouds were over me here. The trails. There was a clear spot over me. Now I was going to try to capture it with this mirror, but um, you can see I have a mirror here. And uh, you see the reflection of the sun. Hopefully, I can capture it, but. A regular house mirror and it's shining a half mile away. Going to try to capture some of these particles with the mirror. Hopefully, be able to see. I was looking up in the sky a few minutes ago and you could see the little flakes coming out, getting in my eye. I had to get out, get some glasses on. So, um, I'll take some more stills. I heard jets flying over really high. And uh, all of a sudden, those particles started falling out. I had to get out. The sun was uh, too bright, and this shit was falling out of the sky. Man, I don't know what it is. I don't want it in my eyes. I got some glasses on now, and uh, I take some more pictures. Um. I can hear the planes going over. The winds changed direction. A few minutes ago, these clouds were all. Oh, the explosion turned down. These clouds were all coming from uh, the east. Now the planes are flying from the north. I can hear them. And this is all coming from uh, the north now. Doesn't look normal. It's kind of like the clouds on my uh, flight simulator. Kind of holographic cartoon clouds. It's kind of crazy. We'll check the radar again, like I said. See what the weather's doing. Wind direction, all that. I'll compare it all. Difference in the sky again. This is looking to the west. Just as blue as it can get. And we're looking this way now. Uh, that's where all these planes have been flying from. I don't know where the weather's going up here in the mountains. It's hard to tell. This is coming from the north. Now the weather's going to the headed to the east. And there's the east. There's the sun. That's looking south. I'm starting to feel nauseous. I'm gonna I can get out of here. Go throw this together. Um I'm gonna turn this off now and take some more Good reflection off the uh, river and the snow down below me there. This is getting so bright, it's hurting my eyes and really really hard time trying to film this I'm gonna pan around here again this is the north uh, 
Fucking east. It's the sun. And it's west. Over here. Blue skies. So the clouds are starting to move over. You can really see how blue it is. It's not cloudy out at all. And the sun, before the sun came up, it was a clear sky. I was looking at the, the planets in my telescope. Not a cloud in the sky, really. Sun's going behind the clouds. It's really, really weird. Okay, you're uh, still working on this video from this morning, but the time is now 11:48, and uh, I'm going outside. The sun is so bright, there isn't even any reflection or flares or camera lens flare or anything. It's just so bright. There's not even any flare. It's so big. I can't even look at it with my eyes. It's just horrible. really big and there you go I know you'll see this one there you can see the uh, spray beam curling alongside the uh, exhaust. He's already blown past. Look at that. <laughs> it's right over my head. Look at it. You can see uh, to my uh, above me here on the right side is the plane exhaust. On the left side, see it coming down? Look at it. There's your proof right there. Ever seen airplane exhaust fall out of the sky? Look at that. what it looks like when it comes out. That's what it looks like about three minutes later. It's really hard to look. I'm not going to stay out here too long. There's the sun. I'll watch this as long as I can and I'm going to get away. I don't want this shit on my eyes. Okay, there you can see a couple puffs came out that didn't go right. It's really hard to look. Okay, you flew over about two minutes ago and already the sun is blocked completely. I can't see it at all. Nothing.
I can't even see the screen on my camera. That's how bright this is. Okay, I'm getting out. This shit's falling. Okay, uh, ordinarily I don't uh, use anybody else's information, but uh, for uh, educational purposes I'm going to show you some links here that I uh, checked out some things when I was looking at the clouds and what was going on with these jet streams and clouds and stuff this morning uh, with the sunrise. Uh, I'm going to list the uh, links and the uh, uh, pages you can look up the information for yourself. Uh, this is purely educational and uh, uh, I'm not Freedom to Share uh, Information Act, uh, and I'm going to uh, use that right today, uh, first time ever, and probably the last time unless something else happens, and uh, you can go ahead and check out this information for yourself. Uh, something's going on. They're lying. I caught them with the cover and update or whatever, and uh, you can check it out yourself. Okay, I just want to show you something. Today is uh, November 26th. Uh, this is the... Uh, NASA composite uh, water vapor imagery. Um, I compared uh, the clouds with the radar and the time, the sunrise, and uh, the uh, radar imagery they're showing in their national weather. Uh, today's date, is, uh, as you can see, is uh, November 26, 2011. Uh, I checked the data with the composite water vapor, and the imagery they're showing is the 11th of September, 2007, and it matches the imagery. Uh, that they're showing for the radar data to cover up the clouds. Uh, the clouds I showed, as uh, I told you, they were coming from the north. They were originally coming from the east. And this is showing everything coming from the west, and it coincides with the radar data. Uh, uh, so somebody's lying, and uh, uh, that's all I can say. Someone's lying. 10 September. 2007, 26 November 2011, local, there's the time, November 26, 8.36, 56 a.m., there is my, I'm trying hard to see down here, there is my uh, date, 8.37 a.m., let me get down to it uh, here. Saturday, November 26, 2011. And the imagery they're showing is September 2007. I'm going to switch back now and uh, go to the infrared radar imagery. And there you go, folks. And I'm going to go to animate this image. We'll see. It's going to take a second to load up. There you go. From the west. No clouds were coming from the west. There's the date. There's the time. Date. Time. Date, time. It's hard to get down in here. There is the time. And November 2011, 26th. What can you say? Something's fishy. Something's fishy. What are they doing to us, folks? Pay attention. Here is the uh, Google link for uh, National Weather Radar Service. This is NOAA. Um, 
service, Doppler radar, NOAA homepage, weather radar images. This is the site you'll come to. Shows you the uh, Doppler radar. National Weather Service Enhanced Radar Image Loop, National Mosaic. See that for yourself. This is the uh, Google link uh, for the uh, Global Composite Weather Satellite Infrared Pictures from NASA. Uh, www.ghcc.msfgnasa.gov uh, slash goes global ir.html This is the uh, Google link uh, for the uh, Global Composite Weather Satellite Infrared Pictures from NASA uh, www ghcc.msfgnasa.gov slash goes global ir.html This is the site that'll take you to you. This is uh, NASA's Global Hydrology and Climate Center. This is the uh, site you'll be able to uh, look all this up. There's the imagery you'll be able to animate that and uh, compare the dates. Check this all out. I don't normally do this. Uh, I'm a studio musician. I have a studio and I uh, record videos and make uh, my own videos and stuff. But uh, this is all going on current events, and I thought I should share this. Uh, Here's the links. You can check it out for yourself. This is the site that'll take you to you. This is uh, NASA's Global Hydrology and Climate Center. And this is the uh, site you'll be able to uh, look all this up. There's the imagery. You'll be able to animate that and uh, compare the dates. Check this all out. I don't normally do this. Uh, I'm a studio musician. I have a studio and I uh, record videos and make uh, my own videos and stuff. But uh, this is all going on current events and I thought I should share this. Uh, here's the links. You can check it out for yourself. Okay, uh, ordinarily I don't uh, use anybody else's information, but uh, for uh, educational purposes, I'm going to show you some links here that I. Uh, checked out some things when I was looking at the clouds and what was going on with these jet streams and clouds and stuff this morning uh, with the sunrise. Uh, I'm going to list the uh, links and the uh, uh, pages you can look up the information for yourself. Uh, this is purely educational and uh, uh, um, uh, Freedom to Share uh, Information Act uh, and I'm going to uh, use that right today. Uh, first time ever and probably the last time unless something else happens and uh, you can go ahead and check out this information for yourself. Uh, something's going on. They're lying. I caught them with the covering up dates or whatever. And uh, you can check it out yourself. MapQuest. Uh, www.mapquest.com uh, slash maps. Um, you can look up this information yourself. I'm just showing, uh, looking up uh, airport locations and I found uh, Portsmouth is uh, south of me. It's the only one that would have uh, international traffic big enough to have uh, large planes that would be flying over. And there it is. That's the uh, Peace International Trade Port. I guess it's just outside of Newington, Portsmouth. So, uh, a little harbor. It's the only airport showing. Uh, to the east of me, as you can see, uh, there's nothing else out there. 
all that traffic would have to be coming from the uh, across the ocean. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Not for a long way. National map, and uh, there's nothing out there but some islands here, and uh, there they are. There's nothing there. They would have to be coming from uh, Italy, no, over that way, Europe. International flights coming in. Uh, the planes I saw coming over, uh, five and six a shot, maybe more. High altitude ones coming over, uh, three and four and five. At just in my little area above me, uh, every two, three minutes, I could hear them uh, going over, coming from the east and the north there. And uh, so that would mean there'd be uh, three international flights a minute, two minutes coming from uh, Europe to New York over top of the White Mountains uh, that's not happening you can check this out for yourselves MapQuest I'm going to look up the uh, air traffic uh, numbers here right, uh, this is flight aware live flight tracking uh, Boston Logan, Logan International uh, Airport uh, flight aware live flight tracking. Uh, I'm going to check the Boston Logan International Airport traffic. Uh, that's the closest one. That's not even uh, east of me. They're not even listing any. Uh, and they're showing uh, national weather radar here showing from the west. Um, again, that just doesn't make any sense. But uh, let me check this out. Okay, so I uh, clicked on the Boston uh, Logan International Airport in the region here, and uh, this shows Flight Aware Live Tracking, Live Flight Tracking. Uh, dot com here uh, shows the actual aircraft in the route. I'm gonna try to zoom in so you can see them. I'll show a better picture, but uh, this is showing uh, aircraft current, and it's not showing uh, too many aircraft coming in from the east one or two you know so you figure uh, this map show and it's gonna take them probably 20 minutes to get from here to where I'm at in the White Mountain National Forest here so I know it's hard to see it's updating now um, you know it's not showing the traffic that's uh, flying overhead it just uh, went rebooting so I'm going to get an actual image of this for you. I just wanted to show you the site. So, uh, live flight tracking, flightaware.com live airport. Uh, flightaware.com slash live slash airport slash KBOS. And they uh, will show you the live uh, air traffic. You can check that out for yourself. We're here and uh, they've updated now and uh, they're showing the uh, live traffic. Once again, uh, you go on the site, you can see all. when they're arriving, where they're going, and uh, which the airports and everything, so you can check that out for yourself. Flightaware.com slash live.